Yeshu, I am Father Manu, standing here representing group number two. In our group, there were six members, and all the members shared their insights about what they heard, what they were inspired during a class and in other uh, reflections. And one of the members shared about evangelizing oneself, the importance of evangelizing oneself, as well as our own people before going to evangelize the other people who have not known about Christ. And about the importance of being anointed by the Spirit in order to proclaim Christ, because Christ himself is the first good news of the Father, and we need courage to proclaim Christ. In order to have courage, we need the anointing of the Spirit. Only then we can proclaim Christ without fear. Otherwise, there will be a lot of things, uh, a lot of things blocking us proclaiming Christ without fear. I need to study, study, read, study, and reflect about the Word of God and being anointed by the Word of God be before going to preach the Word of God. Only if I have Word of God in myself, then only I can preach Word of God. And we need to be people filled with Word and Spirit. If we have an open attitude towards the inspirations of the Spirit, the Spirit will guide us in His own ways in our field of mission and evangelization. In order to have, we need to have a strong faith, then only we can proclaim Christ. In order to have a strong faith, again, we need to be anointed by the Spirit. The Spirit will take away our fears and worries with regard to the field of evangelization. And one of the members shared about the example of Sturibal, Brother Har shared, and, and in today's gospel we saw the disciples were, disciples locked themselves in a room out of fear of Jews. And often we are also locked ourselves in our own comfort zone areas, uh, fearing about a lot of things. We have fear about our own security, safety, and again, we have fear about the facilities. We have so much anxieties about uh, whenever we go for evangelization, evangelization, so many anxieties we have. In that way, we are also in closed rooms. We, we are also locked ourselves in room. So we need to open our doors so that the spirit can enter in our hearts in order to rejuvenate ourselves. These were the, some of the uh, points shared in our groups and after the sharing we had uh, the prayer session and during prayer session some of the members shared some of the in inspirations they received and it, it was helpful for the members and, and again we divided ourselves into two, two groups uh, three by uh, two by three and we prayed for, prayed for each other that also was very uh, inspiring as well as helpful. How to, it was a, in a way, practical experience, how to do our evangelization work in a better way. Thank you.